You are listening to SDO Isabella Radio Base Instruction. Learning never stops in Math Escuela, your school on air. Your partner in achieving fun learning experiences. Let's listen, enjoy, and have fun in learning mathematics. Stay tuned. A pleasant morning, math leads. How are you doing today? Are you doing well? Have you enjoyed your vacation? I hope everybody enjoyed it, despite the crisis that we are facing today. Anyway, this is April Joyce El Castueras, your radio teacher. Math leads. Seemingly, everybody is very much willing to learn. That is quite interesting. But before we proceed, remember, you have to be patient and diligent in doing suggested tasks. Last, can you still remember when the province of Isabella, headed by Governor Rodito T. Albano, donated 95,984 kilograms of rice in NCR during the enhanced community quarantine? Can you imagine how big is 95,984? Can you picture it out how large the number is? Explore and discover! To my mathletes, would you like to play a game? Yes, we shall play a game entitled Guess Me. Mathletes, get ready! For number one, it is a mathematical object used to count, measure, and label. Who am I? That's right. Number is the correct answer. Remember, numbers can be visualized in many ways. You can use any objects in counting like blocks, flats, longs, and units. Last time, I want you to get your notebook and I will give you something for you to do. Okay? Let's do it! Write the following number words in symbol. Again, write the following number words in symbol. Number 1. 10,508 Again, 10,508 Three, two, one. Ball pins up. The correct answer is one zero comma five zero eight. You're doing well. Number two, fifteen thousand six hundred. Again, fifteen thousand six hundred. Three, two, one. Ball pins up. The correct answer is one five comma six zero zero. Wow, mathematical genius. Number three, thirty five thousand nine hundred one. Again, thirty five thousand nine hundred one. Three, two. 1. Ball pins up. The correct answer is 35,901. You did well, mathletes. Number 4. 78,013. Again, 78,013. 3, 2, 1. Ball pins up. The correct answer is seven eight comma zero one three. Wow, improving. Number five ninety one thousand two hundred twenty six. Again, ninety one thousand two hundred twenty six. Three two one. 
opens up. The correct answer is 9, 1, 2, 2, 6. Very good. You did all well. All right. How many of you got a perfect score? Everyone? Wow. Seemingly, it's a good beginning before we shall proceed to our next lesson. By the way, how are you with your activities the past day? Did you answer them correctly? Yes, I congratulate you. If your past lesson is a little trouble to you, then let's make it up. I know you can still do it. At this time, I am expecting you to focus and listen attentively and actively participate in our discussion. Go get your module in mathematics and bring with you your paper and pencil. While you are preparing, here is an infomercial for you. Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you! Ngayon ba ang kaarawan mo? Hindi! Hinuhugasan ko lamang ng mabuti ang aking kamay. Sabi ng DOH, dalawang happy birthday songs daw upang makaiwas tayo sa COVID-19. Wow! Ang galing naman! Simula ngayon, maguhugas na ako ng kamay habang umaawit ng happy birthday. Ang inyong kalinisan at disiplina ang magliligtas sa inyo. Isang paalala mula sa DOH, DepEd at ng himpilang ito. And we're back kids! We shall deal more about visualizing the numbers. Now, let's try focusing using blocks, flats, longs, and units, or even using cutouts of numbered disks. Are you ready? Here we go. Using blocks, flats, longs, and units, visualize 12,974. Get 12 blocks, 9 flats, 7 longs, and 3 units. Then, the value goes like this. 12 blocks is equal to 12,000. 9 flats is equal to 900. 7 longs is equal to 70. And 3 units is equal to 3. That is one way. Now, Add them together. 12,000 plus 900 plus 70 plus 3. What did you get? You will get a sum of 12,973. Nice answer. That is exactly another way of writing the number to visualize by writing the value of each digit in addition form. Got it? Do you want to give it another try? Okay, let's go. For this one, let me give you the direction. Write the number being illustrated. For number one, I have 10 blocks, 5 flats, 5 longs, and 2 units. Again, I have 10 blocks, 5 flats, 5 longs, and 2 units. What is the number? Very good! It's 10,552. Did you get same answer? Okay. Next. If I have 12 blocks, Three flats, four longs, and three units. Again, if I have 12 blocks, three flats, four longs, and three units, what is the number? That's right! It's 12,343. 
Did you get the answer? Very good. For number three, I have 11 blocks, 8 flats, 6 longs, and 2 units. Again, I have 11 blocks, 8 flats, 6 longs, and 2 units. As the number. Okay, it's 7,862. Did you get same answer? Interesting. Next number. If I have 12 blocks, 7 flats, 1 long, and 5 units. If I have 12 blocks, 7 flats, 1 long, and 5 units, what is the number? Okay, it's 12,715. Did you get the same answer? Very good. For the last item, I have 8 blocks, 6 flats, 4 longs, and 3 units. Again, I have 8 blocks, 6 flats, 4 longs, and 3 units. What is the number? It's 8,642. Did you get the same answer? Outstanding! Did you get a perfect score? Wow! You are all improving. Give yourself a big hand. We are still here. Let's continue our lesson, dear Mathlets. Now, let's try this. Write the number that I will mention. Later, we will find out if you get the correct answers. Okay, are you ready? That's great. I have three ten thousands, two one thousands, two one hundreds, four tens, and seven ones. What is the number? For number two, I have four ten thousands, four one thousands, four one hundreds, one tens, and three ones. What is the number? Let's proceed to number three. I have six ten thousands three one thousands seven one hundreds six tens and three ones what is the number In number five i have two ten thousands five one thousands four one hundreds zero tens and nine ones what is the number? Mathlets, now, let's see how far you have understood the lesson. For question number one, reveal your answer. That is exactly correct. The correct answer is 32,247. For item number two, what is your answer? Outstanding! The correct answer is 44,413. Next, kindly reveal your answer. You are doing well. You got it right. It's 63,763. How about question number 4? What is your answer? Exactly. It's 58,113. 33. And for the last item, what is your answer? Performing. It is actually 25,409. Now, who among you here got a perfect score? Kindly recount your scores and write your score on the upper left part of your paper. Congratulations, mathletes!
Now, Mathlets, try to reflect. What are the things that you have learned in today's lesson? Write your answer on your module or notebook. I will give you three minutes to do it and I will be right back. Understood? Welcome back to my channel. So today guys, mag-makeup tayo ng bonggang bonga. Para pretty tayo everyday. Yes! So una, dapat nakapag-moisturizer na kayo. The next is foundation na. Tapos itago natin ang bakas ng nakaraan. Pag-concealer tayo. Then iset na natin ng powder. Ayan! Huwag kalimutan ng eyeshadow. Tay! <laughs> Wala na pala ko ginagawang masuma. Ano bang mali sa magiging masaya? Sa kung sino at ano ako? Ha? Ano ba? Ang pagiging lesbian, gay, bisexual o transgender ay hindi sakit at hindi namamana. Kusa itong pinili ng tao na kabilang dito, bilang parte ng kanyang orientasyon at ekspresyon ng sarili. Huwag nating hayaang mabuhay at manatili sa takot ang mga batang ito. Lahat tayo, ano man ang kulay o kasarian, ay pantay-pantay. Isang paalala mula sa kagawaran ng edukasyon at ng himpilang ito. Here we are again, kids! In visualizing numbers, you can make use of any objects in counting. You can make use of blocks, flats, longs, and units. Otherwise, you can utilize numbered disks. Now that you have already learned how to visualize numbers, Get ready for your quiz. Here is the directions. Analyze the following questions. Write the letter of the correct answer. Are you ready? Let's begin! Choose the right answer that best suited the following statement. Number 1. Three blocks. Four flats, six longs, and five units is equivalent to what number? Again, three blocks, four flats, six longs, and five units is equivalent to what number? A. 3,465 B. 3,645 C. 3,065 or D, 3,000 Again, A, 3,465 B, 3,645 C, 1,065 or D, 3,000 Number 2 10,000 plus 4,000 plus 500 plus 30 plus 9 is equal to N. What is the value of N? Again, 10,000 plus 4,000 plus 500 plus 30 plus 9 is equal to N. What is the value of N? A. 1,453 B. 14,539 C. 14,390 Or D. 14,005 I'll repeat A. 1,453 B. 14,539 C. 14,390 or D, 14,005. Number 3. 3 one thousands, 5 one hundreds, 7 tens, and 9 ones is what number? I'll repeat. 3 one thousands, 5 one hundreds, 7 Tens and nine ones is what number? A. 3,579 
B. 3,679 C. 3,565 or D. 14,500 Again, A. 3,579 B. 3,679 C. 3,565 or D. 14,500 Number 4. Which set of numbered discs shows 3,233? I'll repeat. Which set of numbered discs shows 3,233? A. 3 ten thousands, 3 one thousands, 5 one hundreds, 4 tens, and 6 ones. B. Two ten thousands, three one thousands, three one hundreds, four tens, and five ones. C. One ten thousands, three one thousands, four one hundreds, four tens, four ones. Or D. Zero ten thousands, three one thousands, two one hundreds. Three tens, three ones. Again, letter A. Three ten thousands, three one thousands, five one hundreds, four tens, and six ones. B. Two ten thousands, three one thousands, three one hundreds, four tens, and five ones. C. One ten thousands. Three one thousands, four one hundreds, four tens, and four ones. Or D, zero ten thousands, three one thousands, two one hundreds, three tens, and three ones. Identify now the correct answers. Go, kids! Math lit. You've done so well in this lesson. I want you to continue your good work because there are still some activities concerning this lesson that you can explore. I know you can do it! We are done with another fruitful encounter. If you still have questions, you are free to contact your teachers with their numbers included in your learning kits. Be reminded, of course, to submit your modules and activity sheets on the scheduled time at the Dropbox in your respective area. Again, thank you very much for listening and learning. Carry on the good works! I am Teacher April Joyce El Castueras, signing off. Before we end this episode, we would like to acknowledge the script writer Sir Joshua G. Rolian for his continuous dedication and unparalleled service for our learners. We would also like to thank the RBI production team and the whole SDO Isabella for their support and for making this production possible. Again, thank you very much! Patuloy, patuloy ang edukasyon para sa ating generasyon. Sa daan ng pagkatuto ay walang may iwan. Kaya halina sa Radyo, Radyo, Radyo Eskwela. They say knowledge is power in this world full of devour. Be prepared in mind.
mind and never get reckless we'll conquer the world let's be educated education Education must continue despite of the pandemic. A simple reminder from the Department of Education and this station. SDO Isabella ay handang-handa na sa edukasyon sa bagong normal. Handang isip, handa bukas. Isang paalala mula sa kagawaran ng edukasyon at ng himpilang ito. Taho! Taho kayo dyan! Di makatulog sa gabi sa kaiisip Damdamin ko'y mayroong lungkot hanggang sa panaginip Oh, Berto! Di ka ba nakatulog kagabi? Hindi nga ho, Kuya Pekto. Dalaw siguro ng lungkot ng pag-iisa dito sa bahay. Di ho kasi makalabas dahil sa COVID-19. Hay. Berto, may tatlong bagay na dapat kang tandaan para maiwasan ng lungkot sa mga ganitong sitwasyon. Una, alamin ang dahilan ng iyong kalungkutan. Pangalawa, maaaring ipabatibin ang iyong nararanasan sa mga taong malalapit sa iyo. Nariyan ang internet para makausap mo sila. At ang pangatlo, ilaan mo ang iyong oras sa mga bagay na ikaw ay magiging abala. Hindi lang pisikal na kalusugan ng mahalaga, Perto, pati pang kaisipan rin. Tatandaan ko yan, Kuya Pekto. Maraming salamat sa payo. Isang paalala mula sa kagawaran ng edukasyon at ng himpilang ito. Mare! Mare, baka pwedeng makahiramunin ang pera mo. Pambili ko na yung cellphone ni Junior. Malapit na ang pagbubukas ng klase, ngunit wala pa rin siyang gagamitin. Ay, paano na kaya ito? Naku, Mare, hindi mo na kailangang bumili ng cellphone. Dahil may iba't ibang learning modalities ang DepEd. Gaya ng reader-based instruction, TV-based instruction at modular learning. Hindi lang online learning. Ay, ganun ba, Mare? Sige, Mare, mauna na ako at ibabalita ko pa yan kay Junior. Salamat! Ang paalala nito ay hatid sa inyo ng DepEd at ng himpilang ito. Hello po, Itay! Hello, anak! Nakita ko na pala yun ay padala mo sa litrato sa messenger. Wow anak, ang galing-galing mo naman. Manang mana ka talaga sa tatay. Siyempre naman itay, perfect ko nga po yung mate. Salamat sa iyo at sa Deped Commons. Kahit nasa ibang bansa ka, natuturuan mo pa rin ako. Maraming salamat itay. Walang ano man anak. Ang DepEd Commons ay isang online platform para sa distance learning na inilunsad ng kagawaran ng edukasyon para sa tuloy-tuloy na edukasyon. Buksan lang sa inyong internet browser ang commons.deped.gov.ph para sa mga detalye. Gusto ko nang mag-aral, gusto ko nang bumalik sa paaralan. Ngunit paano ang gagawin kung may virus pa rin? Manatili sa inyong tahanan, huwag na huwag pairalin ang sariling karunungan Magtiwala sa batas ng inyong bansa at ng ikaw ay hindi nawawala ha! Gusto ko nang lumabas, pero ay bawal pala ikaw lumabas Bawal lumabas, bawal lumabas, bawal lumabas, bawal lumabas, bawal lumabas. Manatili sa iyo 